Quebec, some Centerville students find themselves in pretty select company. They got to meet President Obama. Meteorologist Tara Hastings shows us how science paved their path to the White House. Well, Science Olympiad is a competitive activity where students stretch their mind more than their body. And the team at Centerville High School is learning science is not only fun, but it's also rewarding. Joseph Lin isn't in music class. He's testing out this instrument he made for a Science Olympiad event. This is called a marimba, and it's, I mean, it took a while to actually design because everything that's on here is actually backed scientifically. From musical instruments... <laughs> ...to robots. Students are learning about diverse areas of science, all with a little competitive fun. Oh! The students spend hours after school creating projects and using them in competitions against other high schools and academies. Their hard work has paid off. It is incredibly exciting. I have never been more proud of, of a group of kids. Penny Valentini has helped coach this team to two national titles. All of the success caught the attention of the White House. We saw like all these portraits of the different um, presidents and we got to shake the president's hand. Senior Emily Briskin was one of four students who met the president. She is heading to Yale and wants to study diseases. And speaking of college, there's another perk for winning a national title. Captain Andrew Kerr is getting a full ride to the University of Illinois to study engineering. He can't believe his high school and science Olympiad journey is almost over. It's kind of bittersweet because you know that it doesn't get much better than this. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, college is going to be fun, but we've kind of reached the pinnacle of our high school career. Um, hopefully we can further capitalize on that this year and add a third national championship to it. And that first round of competition begins with a regional tournament. That's next month. And listen to this. If the team can make it to the national tournament in 2013, well, they're not going to have too far to travel. Competition will be held at Wright State University. I'm meteorologist Tara Hastings, 2 News on your side.